Hello, Todd Lewis here from Mainline Dino again. This little short video we're going to discuss channel properties and why we use it. Channel properties we use in many places in the program where we're changing the properties of channels. So to show us how we go to it from the menu, we can click on setup and you've got here channel properties. You'll also notice the, option, the shortcut control P. So from this screen only, if we go control P, we can open up channel properties. Or in most places in the program, you can right click and you have an option for channel properties. So because there's many places in the program where you, you do need to go to channel properties. So why do we use channel properties? Well, at its basics, if we go up to the top here, if we click on say torque total, this is where we can change the unit from foot pounds to newton meters or kilogram force meter. So if we go back to foot pounds, for example, the same token, we've got power total. We can go from horsepower to kilowatts, for example, or PS. Now, other than that, on when we go to a channel, we click on it, we've got a couple options down here. We can, we can set the number of decimal points for that particular channel. Most, most, most channels are in on one or two, depending on what unit you're looking at. Um, other things here, if we go to AFR, you notice here now there's a few different things turn up. So if AFR one channel, you notice here it's lambda AFR. So in the moment it's in air fuel ratio, and we've got one decimal point, so we can click it onto the two decimal points. Now what that'll do for us, if we look at the AFR as a as a channel here, we see we've got two decimal points. So if we go back to AFR again, and now I'll change it to to lambda for example. And go OK, you'll notice in the background it's now going to 0.68. So sometimes in Lambda you might need three decimal points. So you can see here you can change it to three decimal points. Now, alternatively, you've got two other options here now. You've got equivalency ratio or you've got fuel to air ratio. So depending on what software, tuning software you're using or what channel unit you want, you can change it for your air fuel ratio channel. So if we go back to air fuel ratio, it's now an AFR. Now at the moment, when we're in air for ratio, we've got a few options here. We've got petrol, LPG, CNG, and it shows you the stoichiometric value for that particular fuel here in the box as well. So we can go to methanol, diesel, ethanol, E10, E85. And there's another option here for what says use header fuel stoic. So what this is, this is used if it's a, a blended fuel you're using and it's got a, a unique stoichiometric ratio, by turning this option on, we have an option, we have a field in the test header, we can actually define the, the fuel stoic value. So that's only for advanced testing if you're using some blended fuel where it's got a non-standard stoichiometric ratio. So we'll just flip it back to petrol and leave it for that for the time being. Now, other things you've got here, you'll see here, say for manifold pressure one, once again, you've got all the options here. We've got absolute or gauge pressure. So if we want to go from gauge PSI back to absolute KPA, then we can do that. So now other things you may need to do, things like say temperature channels, for example. So if we go to amper temperature, you notice here we've got Fahrenheit for our US customers or Celsius. Then you've got all the other weird and wonderful things that Kelvin or Kelvin or Rankine, for example, depending on if you want to get you're that way inclined. But, uh, you can change it over to Celsius here. So channel properties is just where you're, like I said, you're just changing the properties of channels. So, and you can access it for many, many places in the program. Now you will see some other channels in here as well. So as far as our AFR one goes, we've got copy channels in here. So click on Lambda one copy. So we can have AFR one set to air fuel ratio petrol, and we can have our copy channel in Lambda. So just to show you how that works in the program, we've got AFR one petrol. If I right click and we'll grab Lambda one copy, throw it into there. So that would give us an equivalent lambda value for our AFR at the particular given point in time. So same thing goes, we've got some copy channels for our boost channel. So we can have our manifold pressure one channel in absolute KPA and our copy channel for engaged PSI. So anywhere in the program where you can you can view them, you can view these channels any, anywhere. So that's what channel properties is is for. So you, you do need to access it from time to time in the program. So that just gives you a quick guide of how to, how to get to it and, and what to change in there. Thank you.